we have a double garage, two cars and one motorcycle. So it gets a bit cramped when you want to get all the vehicles inside. So I made up this dolly, dolly frame modification for my paddock stand. And I just wanted to talk you through it today. So the basic principle here is that um, I took out the axle bolts for the wheels on the paddock stand and used longer bolts. So the paddock stand still pivots from the wheel like it normally would. Uh, and then the, the longer bolts I just attached to the yoke frame, which is just a Y shape. So rather than the stand sitting on the ground, it sits on three trolley casters. This is the front caster mount. And as you can see, because of the way I put the frame together, the caster sits, the top of the caster sits at the top of the frame. So the box section, the bottom of the box section sits pretty close to the ground. I use three casters to make it stand more like a tripod. It's much easier to get balance out of three ground contact points than it is out of four. I only bothered with a brake on the rear caster because I figured that one brake would be enough to stop it from sliding around too much and it's only used on flat ground anyway. This point here where the bike's weight is supported on the stand has to be, if you draw a vertical line, has to be behind the pivot point. If it's in front of the pivot point, of course the bike's going to fall off the stand. But if it's the further back it is, the more stable the stand becomes. So this stand in this frame actually sits further back than when the stand is used on flat ground. And that's just, I've just done that to make sure it locks in a bit harder.